What is going on guys, Carlos here from Everything Tech and in this video we're going to try to unlock the A8 2018 phone which is the A530F. This won't work with any other phone, if you've got the A530W or U that's not going to work, it only works with European models. So as you can see I'm showing you that the Google account is locking the device so FRP is currently on. And now we're going to go and put the phone in download mode, which is power button and both volume button, volume up and volume down at the same time. And that will bring you to the warning screen. But we don't want to be here. We want to go to the recovery menu. And in order to do that, just press volume down once again. And then uh, very quickly, you have to press power button and volume up button. And that will get you into the blue screen. And uh, afterwards, you'll get into the android like having a fit and then you can get uh, onto recovery mode so we can see what firmware is installed on a device and what binary is installed on the device uh, also all the files are in the description so you can just grab the links and download them uh, everything that you need so far up to uh, binary 4 you can get it in the description so just if you if your phone is on binary one just update the phone in download mode before uh, going into and installing the combination for binary 4 but all the binary 4 and firmware 4 and FRP bypass are in the description below so as you can see android is having a little bit of a fit having a bit of problems and now we're going to see we are in recovery mode as you can see on the top it's a uh, firmware 8 and it's the i530f xxs4 that is the binary s4 is the binary that we need to be on so if uh, you are on binary 3 like i said just update the phone so now let's go and put it back onto download mode and that is all the buttons a power button volume up button and volume down button and then press uh, volume up and that will get you into the download mode as you can see frp is currently on so now let's go on the computer and let's uh, open up Odin and uh, the version that I'm using is 3.13.1 and we're going to go and install the combination firmware. So as you can see in here I've got two folders, they are separate down, down below because I've got a limit on the file that I can upload, the size of the file that I can upload and these firmwares are quite large. So. Um, click on AP and select the combination firmware and then it's time to click start and update the phone. I have um, sped up the updating process or like installing the binary process because that's quite a long process but I'm running this on an SSD so launching or you know selecting the files is not very very long so I left that on. Um, but uh, once it's done the phone is going to reboot and we're going to be in the factory binary so just wait for the phone to finish installing the combination and then you'll see some writing on the top left the first time and you'll have like the 6.0.1 sort of like uh, erasing sort of uh, icon or logo like the loop with different colors this used to be on 6.0.1 obviously that's completely different now but the combination firmware which is the factory binary is an older firmware in order for us to enable USB debugging and for us to enable ADB as well so just wait for the phone to go through the process of factory binary and uh, when you get to the main menu there's going to be like uh, three rows of dots on top like th i think nine dots you need to click on that because that's going to be the menu on how to get to the settings and we're going to need to reboot the phone a couple of times as well in order to get the 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 settings that we need enabled so as you can see there's the rows on the top just click on that one then look for settings mine was on the top right i couldn't see it normally it's down here there we go and now go all the way to the bottom and as you can see developer options is already enabled right there so just click on that and then look for usb debugging my one is already on i turned it off and back on just to 
make sure that it's gone through and then go back all the way to the beginning and in order to do that click the house and go to IME and we're going to choose star hash 0808 hash and select DM plus ACM plus ADB and click reboot so the phone will reboot now and go back into the factory binary and that option should be selected if you select it and don't reboot that option is not going to be selected so uh, just be aware of that because it's not going to work your FRP bypass is not going to work because ADB is not enabled so make sure that you reboot the phone wait for it to go into factory binary and then we can start using the FRP bypass in order to bypass the FRP on the device once you get to the menu click again IME and then star hash 0808 hash as you can see DM plus ACM plus ADB is already done just click on OK and let's go back on the computer and now we're going to run the Samsung bypass FRP bypass just uh, run FIP underscore bypass by double clicking on it or if your computer's got some options uh, enabled, right click and run it as, as administrator works as well. I normally run this two or three times in just to make sure because like that it's going to save me time in the long run uh, having to reinstall the, the firmware again and reinstall the combination. So once that's done, it's time to turn off the phone and put it back into download mode. So power button, that's going to turn off the phone and then to get into download mode you have to use power button volume up button and volume down button as well so all three at the same time and that should get you into download mode you might need to release them and repress it again if you see the battery icon update and uh, and now you just have to put press volume up button and that will get you into download mode so now it's time to flash the firmware on the phone as you can see OEM lock is on and uh, FRP lock is on as well so now let's open up Odin one more time and we're going to go to BL and load up the full firmware so load BL on BL load AP on AP and uh, finally we have to load CP on CP and the last option we need to load something else so CP takes CP as well and CSC instead of CSC we're gonna load up home so home CSC is the one that you want once that's all done we're gonna need to press start and just wait for the full firmware to flash on the device I have sped up this part here because it's quite a long process it will take easily I think five minutes to install the firmware because these are really large files like three four gig now it's ridiculous so once it's all flashed up it's time to go back on the device for the final stretch and we all we are almost there so not to worry so once the phone goes through you know this process here takes a very long time I sped up this as well because it was just taking way too long so you go through erasing and then you will load up everything you know back up again and when you get to the desktop or near the desktop you see Android upgrading and installing applications this is the final bit you'll see that uh, you've got the agree to the terms and conditions so just swipe up in here click OK and then agree to the terms and conditions and click agree and that is it you're in the phone firmware 8 s4 which is the latest one but we need to do one more step before we can use the phone because some of the settings are going to be a little bit messed up because you just came from 601 so go into settings and go into the bottom option about phone and then go all the way to the bottom and click on reset and factory data reset that is the last thing that we need to do in order to get the phone fully operational with all the storage reporting as as it is not a, a different number like I think 6 gig or 7 gig or something like that uh, it needs to show the right storage for the device and it needs to show the right memory for the device and obviously that's going to be quite confusing because we've installed the combination firmware so wait for the phone to start up again this process easily takes 10 minutes because it needs to delete everything like rewrite everything and go through the complete setup instead of just going directly to the terms and conditions 
So I sped up this part so I wouldn't bore you with it. So when you see installing applications, it is really at the end, it's the end process. So as you can see, hi there is already there. And as you can see at the bottom, emergency call and accessibility are already enabled. That means that the phone is completely, the, the FRP is completely removed from the phone. So I'm just gonna go straight and uh, not set up anything, but if you want to set up your Google account, you can in the middle. So you just have to uh, either connect to Wi-Fi or not, agree to the terms and conditions, and uh, you set up your date and time, your name and things like that. I've just skipped through all of these. I didn't set up face recognition or pin fingerprint or anything like that. So I skipped everything. I just go more all the way to the bottom, accept, and uh, now sign up to the Samsung account. I just clicked on skip. And finally, we are done. So I guess this is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video or if this video helped you, please give us a like and consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. I've got more phones in the pipeline, so stay tuned. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.